Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Hey, everybody. Welcome to The Mike O'Mara Show for a beautiful Monday morning. Kind of interesting reason why uh, Mr. Spiewak is not in attendance today. Like uh, like the house hasn't been sick enough for uh, uh, the last year. Uh, he informed Oscar. Well, Oscar will tell the story as far as uh, how it went down. That uh, was a little problem. <laughs> a little health news. Not, not about Rob, but... Uh, well, you could probably yeah. tell it better than I could, Oscar, as far as uh, what happened real. I, um, uh, I'll get to it, and when I tell you how he told me, it's classic vintage Spiewak. <laughs> this is funny. This is truly funny. We've got a great show today. Um, I'm at a crossroads with uh, football fandom. We're going to talk about that later on. I want to uh, do a little tech talk with Oscar today, and I also want to uh, discuss the major theft trend that's happening in uh, Cape Coral. Oscar's got Chinese food news, too. That's why he's holding up a fortune cookie. Cookie. Which is interesting. So, lots to uh, unpack on today's uh, Mike O'Mara show, everybody. That's for sure. But let's start with the uh, the health news of the day. Let's just yeah. Um, I don't. Since I'm let me, running some things let me go, I normally don't. Let me, All right, go ahead. Let me uh, get yes. my vintage Spiewak out. Breaking news whenever it feels like breaking America. Um, Go ahead. You know, Rob. <laughs> it's funny. Rob is a. Uh, I don't know if he's a man child or if he is really just confused as a human being. This is prior to his hospitalization, prior to the pandemic. It, I always was confused mm-hmm. of the type of communicator he was for someone who works in communications and um and i say that but i'm we're not i'm not bashing him i'm just confused because (laughs) rob this this coming week was is going to be his his first week of working from home and not that you the listener or you america or america need to know too much about why rob wants to work from home he's working from home Right. And it's the new wave. Uh, I said, let's work it out. Uh, You know, uh, working from home is a privilege, as they say in America. So let's 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 get it going. And if you can do it. Awesome. Hey, I was doing it before doing it was cool. Yes. Um, But you're graded on a different scale. Um, Rob's graded on sheer quality of output. So he knows that. I I know that. We all know that. He's a solid C I mean, student. Maybe I mean, D, we had D, to rotate him in from working from home because it wasn't working out. So I'm hoping it works out this time. So good, good. So, so you, we've been doing. Some yeah, things this is. To I'm talking for TMOS and Podville. Everybody, okay, you're going home. So he takes a full victory, a full week's victory lap uh, around the office, telling you know, basically telling <laughs> everybody, including the the janitor that he's going to see him next time, but he doesn't know when, cause he's going home. And, gotcha. um, and you, I mean, America, you know, this like it's Rob, your old buddy, Rob, he'd rather be somewhere except for here. Um, and see, I don't know that cause I'm not up there. So yeah, I don't he know doesn't like the that commute. that's the way if I got to hear about the toll road again, yeah, he this, said that yeah, to this me isn't recently. my business. So yeah. I understand what you're yes. talking about, but as far as like when he's there, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, so I guess he likes being, he likes being spot. at home. Like most people do. It's like Jake, the yeah, snake. Yeah, he likes being it. under I don't, a paper towel. This in isn't his a, um, a, a condemnation on working from home. Awesome. If it works great. If you can do it from home. Awesome. No big deal. I've changed my tune on that. Let's do it. I have been doing it for over a decade and it's working. Yes. Fine. Um, can we not make it about you anymore? Let me just get to Rob, please. It's Why don't like you your just fifth calm time. down. It's I know you're upset. You said you work from home. We all know that. We're good. I know you're upset. No, I'm proud of the fact that I I perform at a very high level from home. Okay. 
So um, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying anything. anything. I'm just saying maybe the, the high level is a bit a bridge too far. Like it's you perform when you show up is what the, really the the take is on that. But that's a different conversation. But, but when the, different right. conversation. I know it's yes. not about me, but let me. But I yeah. have to defend myself here. When, <laughs> when the microphone. Oh, you go. Opens, you're golden. You're you're, you're, the you're high golden. level. You're begins. golden. Yes, it just has. It just and, and it just leading, has to open. That's the you know on a regular basis. Well, yes. and also leading yeah, yeah, up yeah. to that, I I believe what I bring to oh, the you, table. There's every no day show is without Michael Mayer. There's no show without level. Michael Mayer. Let me just tell America that <laughs> I didn't say that. Go, okay, just continue. Back just to this. So I'm like, Rob, yes. you got everything. Everything's good to go. You've tested everything. Gotcha, gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I yeah. I don't want to let uh, you down, but I don't want to let me down. Everything's good to go. We've tested today. We've done everything. We're great. I'm like, you got great. So he's doing like the. Double gun point. See you never. Bye. Wouldn't want to be you. Uh, F you, F you, F you. You're cool. I'm out. So he leaves on Friday. Got it. Right. And then crickets. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. On Sunday morning, I'm like, well, it's been too quiet. Something always happens when somebody goes home because you got to get a rep in. You got to figure it out. We got to work it out. We're going to do this. And, you know, a peek behind the curtain even further. Rob tried to go home almost three weeks ago and it didn't work out. But we tried to rotate him home and it didn't work out. So this was his like big maiden voyage. This is the Pinta, the Santa Maria, the, and they're all going out. And the third boat, I can't remember because because uh, it's it's early. It's 8 a.m. Um, so. Got it. I understand. What is the third one? The Pinta, Santa Maria. The, the Nina, Nina, Nina. The Pinta. She was the she was And the, the Santa one. Maria. That's she was the, the order that I put him in. Um, so. But she had an amazing rack. Okay, moving on. Um, so, yes. uh, just to defend Rob, yes. I hate to interrupt yes. to defend him, but I have to, you know, in, in, in true fashion, in the you have spirit to of full him, disclosure. Yes. Friday, yes. three twenty-one p.m. Would you have about five minutes or so on Sunday afternoon? Uh, he said no adjustments necessary, just to check and blah 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 blah. Thank you. He said that three twenty-one, but you, I expect communications through our one-on-one. -on -one him, I expect it to be the whole class. So I that's why I didn't check. I, I have to check told specifically him Rob to Spiewak. You. you think he did that on his own? Okay. I, I said, okay. write all him right, and he, set he it up. He normally puts it on a, if he puts it on the thread of all it. of us, I get it. I'm if he puts at work it one with on one, him, I usually don't. Standing over him like a dad that he never had. Sorry, HBS. And said, mm -hmm. write Mike. Do this. That's yes, why I didn't correct, know correct, it was correct. 4 p.m. So we're here. yesterday. Gotcha. So, um, and this really has nothing to do with the technology. It just has to do with show no. preparation. So on a, at 8 a.m. Right. around then, you write and ask. We set up. I call. I, I write a full uh, text to Mac and, and Rob. I said, let make sure this is done. Work that out. This is all during the day uh, Sunday. I'm no hero. I'm at work anyways. No big yeah. deal. Um, and mm -hmm. then we get. I get on. Well, first, this is this is funny. I'm here at four because I've been here all day, and he uh, he's like, not on at four o'clock. I'm like, hello, hello, like, where are you? He's like, my phone crashed, and I'm like, what does that have to do with being on the computer? So there's all these like hobble, hobble, hobble. I said, Rob, I just want to do this correctly. The Giants are about to. You should know the background of all of this. The Giants Jets are playing, so we're waiting for <laughs> we're, we're, totally we're waiting for Mike issue. to be done with his football game, so we can then test. Which which ended up yes, being a correct. Thing it as worked well. out. So um, so I'm like, Mike's going to be on in any second. They're about to kick a field goal, and they're going. He's going to be in a good mood because they're going to win. I jinxed it. And where are you? And he's like, my phone uh, shut down. And I said, what does that have to do with your computer? Um, which, so there's already excuses. And then so there's stuff going on. It's not seamless. Well, it's not it's smooth. Just, I said, how can you be late? You're at home. Like there's no, you literally live in your basement. You can just turn on your computer and say hello. So I'm already in dad mode or big brother mode. So I'm grumpy and I get on and then it's just a cluster F of just analog boards. Rob said he got a new board. I looked at the board. It looked like it was 12 years old. And I said, can you not be vintage for once in your life? This world is digital for God's sakes. So that's now you're getting a little into the weeds. Yeah, with no, technical. but no, that, that means it. 
Look, America, I have an iPad that controls five different boards at one time. So do I. So do this I. man shows me the board he's using, and it's the board from, um, you know, radio days. It's like something that he found on eBay, or I don't know where he found it. He, it looks cool, but you know what? Looks cool doesn't work anymore. So we're like, yeah. hey, we're getting an echo back to us from you. And this is before you get on. That's what we had, had pre before we previously. get on. And, and I realize at this point, Rob has been lying to America when he said he knows how to run a board. Because every time we asked him to change something, I said, it sounds like you're just like guessing and telling us what you're turning on, what analog dial you're turning. And he's like, well, I don't really know this board. I said, well, that's not going to help us, Mr. Spiewak. I love you, but good, good looking. We've got overtime and the Giants and Jets are going to overtime. So Mike's going to be on here. In a good mood or a bad mood, who knows? But we've got another 30 minutes if we're lucky. It's a story unto itself. So then Rob Ford comes around, blah, 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 blah. And so we get all of that is done. It doesn't work out. Not getting nerdy about the tech. We're fine. Should have a digital board, Rob. Just I hope you're listening. But it's okay. It's only 2024, 2023. Um, we wrap everything. Yes. Can I ask one question just for my yes. own edification? And yes. This is what you don't want me to do. Is that what you were referring to when you said the interface? No, a different piece of equipment. Oh, because he has such an old board, needs. he needs yeah. the interface. That's why. Right. It's, it's, fine. Gonna, it's fine. It's fine. Slow it's the show fine. down. It, remember, that. remember, this is interesting because remember this is getting the board to the main we had point. in 2009 when we started the, this business? Yeah. That's the type yeah. of board he has. It's dated. We were laughed at eight, Correct. nine years ago. Almost a decade ago, we were laughed at at the Consumer Electronics Show on the floor in Las Vegas when we were broadcasting yes. from that floor. And we had a, a we had a transistor radio then as well. So we all this is said, by the way, people with love. With love. So okay, a little frustrated. I said, okay, we're not going to do this. Uh, take a powder tomorrow. Um, we'll work it out. Let's just, let's figure it out. I, I, I don't want to, like, we're already working on some other stuff here. I had Rob Ford and he had everybody in here trying to help him out. And they're like, we got to get an, another piece of equipment. Fine. Fine, fine, I'm fine, 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 fine. <sighs> so Rob Spiewak calls me because I'm already in a different meeting in the building. And he's like, can you please call me? And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not going to even be mean to Rob or mad. I'm like, I'm just like, dude, I want this to work out for you. You, it, it is what, is what it, is. it is. Not even upset. I was like, hey, man, like, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll just, I'll do the show with Mike tomorrow. Um, we'll work it out tomorrow after the show. Yeah. yeah. At, a, at a certain point, uh, we were checking in with each other. And, yeah. and at a certain point, uh, the, the and this will, I don't want to go into this right now, but the, the funniest it's moment a, was when uh, the Giants finally manufacture one of the most uh, catastrophic collapses in their history, which you don't think you, you know, you, that team has yeah. a lot of catastrophic yeah. losses. They manufacture yes. on yesterday for the ages. My son, they make my son don't cry. Get a, don't read ahead. Moment, don't read phone, ahead. Please don't read the ahead. phone rings. We're good. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. So I talked to Rob. I'm like, Rob, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't have time for this, but I get it. We'll deal with it tomorrow. And I'm not mad. No one's mad. Like we're good. We'll figure this out. He goes, I said, do me a favor, just come in tomorrow and pick up the pieces of equipment mm -hmm. that you need to get this done. Like, you don't have to buy it. We're good. Just come into the office and we'll get it done. And he's like, well, I wanted to tell you earlier, but I should probably tell you now that. <laughs> Carrie, my wife, has COVID. Let that just land for a second, because you were told this when? Last night. At last the night. end of the day. Yeah. Last night. Yeah. At the end of the yeah. after working on all this stuff. And then I said, oh, my God. Like, is she okay? He goes, yeah, she's okay, and I'm testing negative. I said, okay, like, did this just happen? Like, I'm so sorry. Then you switch gears into, like, the Shocker America loving Oscar, where you're like, hey, like, what's going on? He's like, yeah, like, I found out, like, two days ago, and, like, I just didn't want to say anything, because or whatever it was, and I was like, because when you have a uh, 
a major contagious disease that you may have and be passing on to others that can, in some cases, uh, you know, rare, fortunately now, but uh, in some cases, prove fatal. What you want to make sure is that when you've known it for a couple of days, you come into work and and you don't share that with anybody. Well, because why in the f <laughs> would you ever do that? I said, um, uh Okay, why? I was like, uh, not for nothing. You don't owe me anything, but you're a key member of our team, and we're, you're our friend. Um, like that's something I would hope that with even our protocol at work, you just you just let your manager know. From what I know about that uh, problem of COVID, uh, there was a uh, there was a big issue with it a, about yeah, a year yeah, or yeah. so ago, and uh, and they're saying uh, now that there's a little silent COVID. This is the fourth time in the last two weeks uh, that I have be, been made aware of it, that somebody I know has it. And what I remember from the days, of, oh, that's right, it was a pandemic. Yes. <laughs> um, what I remember from those days uh, is that you really don't know yeah. How long it might be incubating, and and, uh, and, and how long if you had it? You I may. don't. And I sit in a room with him, so just that's great. Um, <laughs> you don't sit in a room with him. You next sit to him, next to him, and he's right. And we're I watched breathing. sixty minutes last night about the air filtration yes. system at Amazon. Okay, you right sit next, next to, him. to him as Correct. he is. Yeah, go ahead. And I have an elderly mom that just went through COVID. He's got. We all have these and. Uh, do I think he's going to be okay? Yeah, he's going to be okay. He's vaccinated. Yeah, tested I, negative. I That's sent a, good a little uh, text to everybody because I got my my vaccination um, on Saturday. And I sent a text to everybody on Saturday and said, hey, if you haven't had your vaccine, this is the team, including Pony, by the way, and Mac, hey, get vaccinated. I'd like to send a message out to my exclusive doctor who was explaining to me how expensive the refrigeration system is to uh, keep those vaccines in his office. So that would be the reason why. When I got my physical, I couldn't get a vaccination, and I will go to CBS, the Walgreens, Walgreens today. Super easy. Done. So um, do it today or tomorrow. It's your life, Mike. It's your life. <laughs> you know. That little white ball yeah. is not going to hit itself. Poor Michael. Much. If he just would have gone and got a vaccine. I missed you, Pop. Um, so. <laughs> you know, have you had yeah, it? Yeah, I've had it. Remember last year? Uh, has Rob had it? Rob has. Yeah, Rob, Rob had Spiewak? it. Rob Right? I don't remember. I don't think didn't Rob Spiewak. We didn't want him to get it because we, we thought he'd He died. might have had it. Yeah. He might have had it. I'm not sure. I've never had it. <laughs> Jinx. Done. Call it America. This is the last couple <laughs> months of the Mike O'Mara show. And you'll, you have heard it here, and this will go viral. The show will continue. We'll get little Michael out of right. school, homeschool him, and then he'll start. Um, okay. So what what I wanted what I so I wanted to clarify here is like, Rob, I love you. We love Carrie. There's so much more going on here than you just inconveniencing us because he said he just goes, I, I didn't want to inconvenience anybody or worry anybody. I said oh, God. I said Why does he think I like said, that? Dude, you're like family. And then I said, there's like a long list of things that happen when someone lets us know they have COVID outside of just your life and your world. And that includes a contingency plan for not just TMOS, but Podville. That includes the, there's like three different plans that go on behind the scenes that not everybody needs to know of like, okay, if this becomes something that um, other people are sick or I'm sick, like how do we make sure that we have the infrastructure in place? Do you have everything you need for home? Is in case, God forbid, Carrie gets really sick, like we have to prepare for you to miss shows, to take care of, and even miss work at work, your remote work. Like there's a lot that goes into this, but more importantly, are you sure. okay? That's, the, mm -hmm. that's paramount. And I just didn't think about it. And I'm like, all right. So then I say, hey, um, all right, well, we're good. And, and then I get off the phone and I, talk to Rob Ford because he is my right hand man here. And I'm like, Ford, I was mm -hmm. like, because is he going to be able to get that, uh, you know, that piece of equipment? And I said, well, no, he's going to have to get it off Amazon because apparently he's got COVID or, or his wife does. And, and, you know, I don't know what's going on. Can I inject yeah. a little levity into this Please. just briefly? Cause I was going to, I have a funny later, take in just a now. second. Rob, Rob Ford, um, the other day when we were setting up, uh, uh, doing some work yeah. in here and uh, that has enhanced the broadcast and i said wow that looks so good i i i think i'm gonna need a uh, uh a little uh 
little touch up, you know, a little may the, 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 it's just so beautiful. It's so wonderful the way everything's working. And Rob Ford in his mm-hmm. usual style says, it's a shame you don't have a skincare specialist in your family. <laughs> That's his so sense of humor that true. made me laugh. So out true. Loud. Thank you, Deadpan, Rob and he's right. Um, yeah. So I say, I say. So then I call. So basically, Rob Ford gives me a solution. I call Rob with the solution. It's super simple. We're not going to get into it. And he goes, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll take care of that right away." That is at roughly six p.m. America. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this continued. Yes. I had no idea this so continued for you. So at eight thirty p.m., I'm Happy looking Sunday. at my phone. Got a full house here. Everybody's watching the games. That we're about to do a broadcast. And because I love and care about it, how you feel and how's everything going, were you able to pick up, you know, X, Y, and Z so he can do the show possibly today? And he says, mm-hmm. I had no idea. And, and he no said, idea. like, blah, 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 blah. And it texts back. Two and a half hours later, he texts me back. After I prompt him, I said, not on his not own. on his own, because I'm not even asking him I'm like, hey, like, what's this? What's the update here? So he gives me the answer. And I'm like, what? Like when he said, when I said, you're off, like you're off t- like tomorrow, just relax. Like, did he just shut everything down and then like leave and go watch <laughs> Turner Classic movies? Well, I didn't even know that. I, when I talked to you last, that's the way yeah. it was understood. Yeah, you I, and I were coming I mean, in I, and I doing just, this today. So, so nothing changed so for me. Thank I would have called that. him and said, hey, like, but I just didn't want. So the text, I just, the follow up was more like, is everything okay? Were you able to get what we figured out you could get? And then he gave me the answer of why you can't or whatever happened. But it would have been nice for the follow up. And when I tell you, America, that I'm not making this up, that sometimes I think he just doesn't want to do the show. It's this mm-hmm. type of stuff. Because yeah. I think for any broadcaster, when they miss the show, and I'm not, this is not an indictment on him, this is who he is, and you got to love him for it. Like, he gives zero Fs about anything. And that's including <laughs> his health or the show, which I'm fine about, and I've made peace with. But I got to tell you. <laughs> give zero Fs. <laughs> That is the classic Oscar Santana yes. description, which makes. And I looked at my phone, and Rob's like, "What's wrong?" Because Rob can see my face like become just like frustrated. And I said, "I just want him to understand that he is wanted, and he and like, and we yeah. want him on the show." And I think he he should get it from what we yeah, say to him. Yeah, and all it's the like time. I I I, said, I don't know that. what it's going to take for him to know we love him and. Not mm-hmm. writing back for two and a half hours from a text that we're trying to help him with screams, right. no, thank you. Yeah. And I'm fine. I mean, I wouldn't and interpret fi- it. And I'm fine any with it. And I let it go and I didn't call him. I didn't, I was like, well, I'm just going to eat this Chinese food. Um, but I need my emotions because I, I love the guy. So this is what I ask. One, Carrie, I want you to be okay because if you go or something happens to you, then I don't know what's going to happen to Rob. Like he'll fall apart. That's that, that is that'll paramount. be it'll it'll be shown yes. on orders. And then two, Rob, I hope you're okay as well. And it's fine. You don't want to talk to us. You don't want to communicate. That works for TMOS because you're on a lifetime contract. Doesn't work for Podville. You better talk to your manager. Let me ask a, a question here. So so here's the question I have for you. With the uh, with the equipment necessary for him to yeah. do what he needs to do, is there any sign that that might be accomplished well, this is today what's great, that he can Mike, join us tomorrow? That I was so frustrated with Spiewak that I had come up with a solution for him to be on the show today, which is just use the Telos and all the other equipment he currently has. But ah, I was okay. so frustrated right. with the experience we had yesterday that I didn't even let him know about it. Because who knows? So it's a cooling yeah, who off. Who knows period. if he would have found the text in time to do the show. But he has everything. He, he, we could have pulled him in through another way. Like, we have backups. And you touched, uh, oh, oh, so before the show, I said, did you hear from uh, the sick house? And you said, no, no I did not. And then Mac informed he us did. that he got a, bu- he got a bunch he of had, uh, Yeah, Mac's at home, by the way, okay. as well. That's good. That's a good thing. That's a yep. good, that's good. But uh, so uh, the answer for the listeners would be as far as the uh, trifecta being reunited tomorrow. Uh, Holy until, Trinity. Right? Or Hol- Holy Spirit activate. Holy Trinity activate. You'll be I'm here. here. 
I'm here, America. And then I'm going to get a bunch of hate mail. Why Rob wasn't on the show today? Why didn't I help him more? Why didn't well, no, this I mean, we, uh, we're, we're, we're making a, I'm getting ahead of it now. I'm explaining happen. to you guys. He yeah. doesn't want to be here. <laughs> that's that's that is uh it's not what's been told to me i i hold out hope uh but we will see Look, what happens if the but it's really i can certainly understand the bail how, on me you know and i continue mm-hmm. showing up with roses and yeah, candy show up for the date and right. she's like i'm sorry like i was just getting down by the captain of the football team and i'm you know I I'm in the Future Bruce. Explorers Club. Like, I understand. I'm looking for it's geocache, and I'm just not hot enough for her. Like, I'm a dork. It's very, it's, it's frustrating. Yeah. And uh, you know, I look, don't have a tight ass that you can bounce a quarter off of. <laughs> I'm not into Elvis. I don't, what am I supposed to do? It is, it is uh, great that he contributed uh, some. Uh, some pictures to the show today so he's still with us in that regard that's our bar that's our bar that's the high line of like just google send i don't pictures. know what to do i and then I, he says uh, that you know i have yesterday in the middle of yes. the 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 bomb the, the bomb this after, after no, this the, is this uh, is the middle okay. of the, i just I, I didn't answer in the middle of it this is around five o'clock he's like if you want i can call into the show and i said so you can tell everybody look at me again like can you just be healthy for a good four weeks for once in your life? He is. It's just this is a dangerous thing that we don't do, that you take certainly seriously. Yeah, I mean, we've and, all, uh, we can get we, through it. We have taken it seriously forever. We understand how that works. I get frustrated when I see the morning show rehash the COVID ep- epidemic. I get frustrated when I see old news stories that or current news stories that flash back to that time when people had masks on. I hate it. I hate it. It is. I hate it. It, it is. Do you feel as the same a, way? As the kids I go say, back and look at that video and I'm like, it, it, brought, it, it yeah. triggers me like you would not believe. I remember that time. I remember how uh, we lived awkward like it more was people. for my son going into yeah. school and the parents, because of the state of Florida, were able to vote on whether they could uh, send their kids to school with or without yeah. masks. And more than half of my son's school <laughs> had uh, had no mask. I remember, so it does trigger me. Yeah, but look, triggers this, me in a real but, odd but we're, way. We're, you know? I'm, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be <laughs> dramatic here, but I'm past people dying. Right. I just want to know what's going on because people are vaccinated. The, uh, I will get to the except I'll for get Michael to the drugstore post taste. Um, I have to share when you, in the middle of all this, when we were communicating yes. about, and by the way, when you told me we're having problems, the, a week prior, we had tried the same yes. thing same and issue. nothing yeah. had changed. You got nothing you, the, from my end, nothing had changed. So here we are again, trying to do the same thing. By the and way, it's identical. It's for him. It's, it's not for him. For us. Yeah, it's for him. Yeah. No, it's for him. But uh, the uh, well, b- so I said. Uh, I think when you like, reached I just, out, I picture right about him. Four, right can a I just say this four right o'clock. now? I picture him. Yeah. Carrie's gone. Well, Carrie's not out of work. Carrie's upstairs. He's downstairs. He's getting the big bowl of Jif, uh, the big uh, jar of Jif peanut butter, and he's like spreading it all over his legs. And then Linus <laughs> is just going to town. <laughs> okay, all right. Now you just behave. Because he's enough. not thinking about to the show. He's like, Linus, we finally have our time together. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. It wasn't yesterday. Because uh, about 4.15, um, Oscar touches base, said, hey, don't worry. Uh, we're, we, you know, yeah, we're working tight. on this. The issue. Uh, we're, we're having working some on the problems. Issues, yeah. We're working on it. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah, and locked. We were, and I wasn't mad. Were, I was we're like, We're going yeah. south. You know, no, you fine. weren't. You weren't. It yeah. was fine. And uh, the plan all along was after, uh, you know, after 4 p.m., after the game, my Giants, beautiful, yes. horrible, disgusting football team, uh, we would do that. So uh, I, I'm not going to recap. You know, yeah, that it was the terrible. The commanders look great. The Giants the quarters, they collapsed. And uh, they, they uh, the Jets came back uh, and a. 30 yard, 29 yard field goal was missed by one of the best field goal kickers in the bit. They just manufactured 
a heart crushing loss right now when, and, and I can speak to people who have rooted for horrible franchises before what a really, really horrible franchise does to their fan base. They don't just lose. If it was just losing, you can accept that it actually relaxes you. What they do is they find creative ways to break your heart when they lose. And this was one of the all, and that's the only thing Mm -hmm. you want to avoid after you accept that they suck. And the Giants managed to just craft one because they suck in such totality in every aspect. They really, really do. So oh, the defense play well. Well, it's always one group plays a little better than the rest of the suck world. Uh, that so once the field goal, Oscar's taking a peek at it because he does his show yes. for ESPN where well, he's we've, you we've, know aware of like all this. seven TVs and, and every single game's gone. I look over at my ten year old son, who is, in my opinion, a tough kid. Believe yeah. it or not, he is a tough kid. He's resilient. He hits harder than a lot of people when he's playing his own football game, and he's tough. He can handle stuff. Look at his mom. Killing it. Look at his dad. He can do it. And I look over, and he's got his head in the crotch of his elbow, and he's lightly crying after this. (sighs) And I am ripped. Up. Not hammered. I really was ripped. Not up. ripped. I was not ripped so... from alcohol. You ripped. The, you gutted no. emotionally. Alcohol yes. did not touch my lips. I am. He was so sober yesterday. I angry at this because that. And at this point, the phone rings, <laughs> and Oscar is expecting it's just going yeah. to be me. And so I get that Oscar calls me laughing on the other yeah. uh, on the other end and i like normally that would be a i can't believe yeah, it, yeah. blah 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 i've got a 10 and you get from me all right i'll call no. you right back my son is this crying is what right i now. heard america okay. mike you remember it the way you want to remember it mike he actually sounds panicked like something's happened and I'm like, oh my god! Like, what? I was like, like, oh, is it like, did some? Was there an accident? And so, and this is the only, and 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 you've heard Mike, like, like if something happens on the air, like something's wrong, he'll like, all right, stop tape, and he'll go. He's like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Look, I, I gotta go. Uh, my kids, my kids falling apart. Click. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god! I thought he said, I thought I said no, he was, I was crying. Like, falling apart. What's happening? He was very I, upset, I, I, like I kids got get. That. But you, I was so, were so angry for you were, him. You were, but your anger was panic, and I'm like, I thought you had to like console kids, not just like create a bigger problem by panicking around them. No, I just, I said, come on over here. That that's all that was. I said, come yeah. on over. That's I wanted to console him. I I, I had seen as your yes. phone was as the phone yes. from you was ringing. You I seemed annoyed that you had a child at that point. Gently. <laughs> <laughs> it really, I was it annoyed. Like you were so I was annoyed, annoyed like, at why one am I thing. dealing with this? I was annoyed at Big <laughs> Blue. And we say it in life, and we certainly say it on the gridiron. You don't play not to lose. You play to win, Brian Dable, with your stupid fat ass hoodie <laughs> during that whole game. You look like a ridiculous yard gnome. Is what you look like. Uh, so, but anyway, I, uh, so he was he was resilient. We went, you know, believe it or not, you know what we I'll did. I'll tell you after what you did game. because you told me. You're okay. like, oh my god, I don't want to deal with emotions. How do I buy my way out of this? You went retail <laughs> therapy. Oh god, you want to go that. buy right. you? What, what, what did what treat did what you did get him? Let's get out of here and let's go do something what fun. Let's spend do? daddy's money. He, uh, Mike just oh you I can, can hear me. you. All right, good. You said let's okay. spend daddy's money. If I if we spend some okay. money, we can forget about see. this. What are we gonna do? And because I called Mike back, he's like, "I'm I'm on my way to Dick's Sporting Goods." I'm like, "Oh, that was the plan." Believe it, believe it or not, that was the plan before okay. the game. What 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 that did you got? Plan. How did you uh, lift his spirits? Uh, before the game, he wanted to uh, kick field goals. 
Isn't that odd that that's what he wanted to do? This is before the Giants field goal kicker, one of the greatest uh, the, in the history of the team, ha- had uh, gacked it twice during a game that would have uh, ensured the victory for the Giants. So he wanted to do that, and that's why we were running out to get a uh, T, yeah. one of those automatic yeah. things where you can yeah. set the ball up because daddy's not going to oh, be in that no. crouch position for the be able entire to get back up. That's not going to happen. And uh, and uh, knocked him through. Like uh, about 20, 25 yarders. Uh, yeah. He made about seven of them yesterday in about an hour's time. He was practicing, learning Do you it. Know and uh, why it was fun for so him. Prevalent and popular, I think. Because Pat McAfee is going around to every college campus on Saturdays. And he's pulling like people out of the crowd because he was a former kicker. And he's paying them yeah, 60 hundred. to th- 30 to $60,000 if they can kick a 35 yard field goal. Yes. Really? And he's like breaking that. off his own money, his own checks to these people. He's got it. Well, he's got a yeah, ton of money. That, he's certainly that, got enough money where did he, you could, ever, he could change that. At least put a different. Did color you ever see Howard on. Stern run around giving away his money? No, this man's, this man's no. Robin hood. It's he's a good Robin gimmick. hood. It's, it's a yeah. good, he's paying gimmick. his friends for coming on his uh, show. And then he's also paying, paying uh, his audience. And he's got a very yep. popular show. And I will tell you, though, with the resiliency of a 10-year-old, he was over he's it good. within 15 He probably minutes. was like, I don't want to upset and, Dad uh, anymore. We Dad can't cry in this God. household. Uh, it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> don't cry or the beatings Where will be Where was here. Carla? Does she uh, hug him? The, oh, uh, that's the. Uh, Does she hug him? What's that? Uh, you know, she was, she, Carla, like, hibernates oh, okay. during games now. She doesn't want to be a part of it. Uh, we're going to take a break. <laughs> When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have the uh, round table. And then later in the show, we're going to talk about uh, the very sad situation out in L.A. with Matthew Perry. I read his book about a year ago, and it was, uh, I don't know, nothing's come uh, come down the pipe. But if you saw him and you listened to him, certainly, you would think there might be concerns there. But we'll talk about that and a lot more. You, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to the Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, this podcast is sponsored by Naked Wines. Naked Wines is a subscription service that connects you to the finest independent winemakers on the planet so you get wine as often as you like for a fraction of the price you would pay in stores, up to 60% off. And the best part, every bottle is a passion project from independent winemakers. So you are literally making an independent winemaker's dream come true, which is nice. So head to nakedwines.com slash TMOS and enter voucher in the top right when you get to the website. Then enter TMOS for both the code and password to get six bottles of wine for just $39.99 with shipping included. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a $100 discount and less than $7 per bottle. Nakedwines.com slash TMOS and use the code and password TMOS to grab six bottles for just $39.99. Nakedwines.com slash TMOS code and password for $100 off your first six bottles. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Yes, yes. Oh, it's loud. Let there the cracking come out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, great everybody. Today. <laughs> We begin today with uh, Taylor Swift. She's been having such a bad year, Oscar. It's been so sad for her. Maybe this will cheer cheer her up. She's now a billionaire. Oh, I thought she was already a billionaire. This is shocking. According to the Bloomberg mm. Billionaires Index, Taylor's net worth is now $1.1 billion, thanks in large part to her record-breaking Eras tour, tour, which is in, uh, even over yet. She kicks off International Leg. The International Leg will kick off a week from Thursday in Argentina. Love it. That explains why uh, she wasn't at her boyfriend's sports ball game yesterday. Well, they lost anyway. And perhaps why, why the Chiefs that was lost sad. to the Broncos. The Broncos are an enigma. Well, they, no, they're terror. Uh, they yeah, they win. win once they win against the game, the one team they shouldn't have won against. Didn't they win another game yeah, that they yeah, weren't supposed to win? And then they lost to uh, uh, you I, know seventy to nothing I, to the Dolphins. It was so like strange to watch the game. I was like, "What is happening here?" Mm-hmm. And then Russell Wilson, who hasn't been Russell Wilson for three years, then became right. Russell Wilson. Who knows? It's cool. Yes. Any given Sunday. And any given Sunday, the team you love 
can actually have a win center, in the center, right here, in the center of the palm mm -hmm. of their hand, and then go, we are going, we hate our fans yeah, you so got very, done dirty. very much. That, we're that was going sad. To Funny for me, yes. but sad for to God. you. Funny for you. I got a crying kid. <laughs> I, I answer the phone and you go, <laughs> that, that laugh of yours. <laughs> I got to deal with uh, the kid. Some, uh, some independent theaters got in trouble for having an intermission break for screenings of Killers of the Flower Moon, which is three hours and 26 minutes long. Studio representatives contacted one of the theaters that did it, and they said they violated their licensing agreement. You know, who has weird. the effing That's time. kind of weird. I just think of a studio executive calling the theater and saying that, isn't the theater kind of thinking out of the box and maybe making the experience a little more pleasant with your overdrawn ego it's, project, it's Martin For the Scorsese? same reasons that, uh, you know, you could certain movies can just be shown in IMAX, and if they're not shown in IMAX for the first, who cares? Movies, movie theaters are dying. You should be lucky that they're showing yeah. them. It's an old yes. experience. They did it uh, in movies like Lawrence of Arabia had an intermission. An anonymous theater employee said they did an eight-minute break, and it was a hit. Here's the quote. We were going to keep doing it going forward with longer movies, but now it doesn't seem like an option. There's some overzealous studio executive out there. Uh, it begs the question, with movies getting longer and longer, should they have intermission breaks i think it's a great yeah don't you i think remember it's a great uh, idea being in a theater in silver spring probably isn't there anymore uh where the where the city place is now but before they even built that and um my father took me to go see caligula and uh we took an intermission i remember i had to walk up a little bit hold on hold on uh, how old were I you i was like 10 maybe nine no no yeah, they covered my it, it covered my eyes during the naughty scenes the, the whole movie is not. It's bad. It's basically I'm just porn. I'm like, no. Oh, thank you. All right. I thought he might. Well, he is. He is. You know, he is from wanna, another land. Wanna, he is from another land. <laughs> Things are done different. I don't want to paint with that broad brush. <laughs> I was in a horror movie one time. I don't go to many horror movies in the theater, and I see four year olds in there going, where you're seeing yeah. people, you know, get I disemboweled. I definitely you know, went weird. to go see Creep Show, with, and that's the first pair of uh, boobies I have ever seen in my life. And I was <laughs> at my cousin Adrian's like eighth birthday party. And it was all these little I, kids watching creep show. This dates yes. me. This dates me so much. But I did it on my own where we went. I don't know how it worked out, but it was it was, I think, uh, the showcase cinemas that were yeah. a whole big, uh, you know, strip mall of uh, movie theaters. And I got into the theater. Nobody was taking tickets, and right next to me was Serpico, rated R, and I was like mm -hmm. 13. And I went into Serpico, and I remember when he's in the bathtub with his girlfriend, and there are yeah. her boobs, and I'm going. Yeah, and but like <laughs> you actually were at an age where you could you understood what was going on. I I just was like, oh no, like the blob monster's getting the lady that forgot her shirt, you know, like. I didn't know any better. <laughs> You're little, yeah. little, little. That's cool. Very, very fun. I like that. I like speaking of movies, we're gonna uh this is look, I don't know if you've been watching and following Richard Dreyfus in the last year or so, but Richard Dreyfus is pissed off like all the time. He's a very angry dude. All the time he's angry. No, and this curmudgeon. is a funny story. No yes. curmudgeon. And our buddy up in New York, Paulie Christine is obsessed with this Broadway show. This is what this story's about. Stories about Richard Dreyfuss and Robert Shaw not getting along on the set of Jaws are legendary. It's basically an accepted part of movie lore that Shaw mm -hmm. hated Dreyfuss as much in real life as Quint hated Hooper in the mm. movie and that he basically treated him the same way. There is even a play, Pauly's favorite play. I got to ask him. Pauly, text me or, or send me a message. I really like to know if they make Richard Dreyfuss out to be an ass in this. There's a play on Broadway right now called The Shark is Broken. I, hasn't Pauly Christine seen that maybe 75 times? Yes. It's insane how many times he's gone. And it's about the interplay between Shaw Dreyfuss and Roy Scheider during the making of the film. It was co-written by Shaw's son, Ian, who also plays his father, well, Dreyfus saw the show, and he didn't like it. 
He says there was not a feud between them, and the play just makes him look like a big <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Richard says one of the people responsible for perpetuating the feud rumor is Steven Spielberg. This is uh, Dreyfus's quote. I have enormous respect for Steven's talent as a director. I guess I don't have as much. And by the way, if I do my That's Richard so good. Dreyfus, my I, Richard I haven't Dreyfus heard it in forever. Goes back I have to not Jaws. heard it. I have enormous respect for Steven's talent as a director. I guess I don't have as much for his talent as a friend. That's my, uh, my, it's the debut it's of really my Richard good. Dreyfus, uh, you know. This was no boating accident. That's the way I'm going to speak. Dial 911. Steven, you are portraying me in an unfavorable light. Thank you. I, I didn't realize I did I, a Richard uh, Dreyfus until right now. I thought that was like in your holster, and I didn't realize you did it in real time. No. It's really good. No, I had no idea. Is is Richard Dreyfus also the lead in Mr. Holland's Opus? Yes. Oh, man, yes. that that I was I was of a, a very impressionable age, and I remember watching that with my family, and it moved me. It's a very sad day. This is don't bother me, deaf son. John Lennon has just been shot. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know what? Boy, you know what? That's the neat thing about what I do. Sometimes I get them, and I didn't know they had them. That's the way they've all. A lot of them so have been good. born that way. This was no boating. The said squalus. I'm gonna work on that, Richard Dreyfus. What, what's that? Forty oh, years it. after he was relevant, I come up with the. Uh, the you know, <laughs> I'm not going to see that. You were and then you, the whole the whole town is going to be ready for a hot lunch. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sometimes I'm uh, that narcissistic. I please myself. There is an article making, uh, now, now I can't get out of doing it. There is an article making the rounds that claims you should be washing your hair with oh. beer. The said squalus. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the claim is that the malt hops and, uh, iron in it can make your hair softer, shinier and healthier overall. Uh, but does it really work? The site Healthline.com says there's no scientific evidence to back it up, but uh, a writer for Thrillist. I'm sorry. I have to say it like we're just, what's wrong with me? Now it's in my brain. I can't get it out of my brain. I love it. Oh, my God. Uh, the Somebody tried it, and they said it did make a difference. Some experts said it uh, might end up damaging your hair instead because the alcohol could strip away your natural oils. I don't buy mm. that for a second. For that reason, some people say non-alcoholic beer works best. Oh, shut up, Alton. Uh, if you do want to try it, here's what people suggest. Open a beer. Let it go flat. Uh, you don't want the carbon dioxide mm -hmm. in the bubbles. It creates uh, hard water, uh, which <laughs> isn't good for your hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, massage it into your scalp and uh, leave it for a few minutes uh, no one agrees how long anywhere from 3 to 15 minutes <clears throat> then uh, rinse it out you just never know what's in there uh, one stylist had a different approach they said uh, just fill a spray bottle with flat beer spritz your hair with it and don't wash it out by the way I'm at the age yes. now where I might get a message this sometime today or tonight that'll say, "Yes, Mike, you did that in 1989. You did it's that new impression to me, in 1989. Mike. It's new to me. That's uh, new to me too. That's uh, that's what uh, getting old means. Uh, they claim it's better to leave in as a conditioner. The downside, you'll smell like a what? frat party. There I'm it. on Richard Dreyfuss's uh, IMDb. Mm -hmm. Have you? Do you know the movie? It, this is new to me because I wasn't even born. Uh, the I was a huge the, fan the, early the in his career. Girl. I loved it. Do you know what that was? About? The Goodbye Girl <laughs> with uh, actress, oh, my God, married to Neil I'll Simon. What was up. her name? Hold on. I think I can figure it out. Let me just look. My memory banks. Marsha Mason. Bingo. Marsha Mason. I have a love interest <laughs> in her. The said squalus. <laughs> stakeout. What I remember stakeout. Another stakeout. Hello. And uh, so the director approaches me and said, Richard, this is Emilio Estevez. <laughs> I said, hello, Emilio. I'm difficult to work with. 
and uh, someday I will turn into a right wing pundit. <laughs> That'll show them. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, today in Wales. Hello, in Wales. A thrift store is asking supporters to stop donating their used and unused sex toys. Oh, no. The uh, store issued a statement asking donors to be careful of what they bring in. Really? A thrift store? Uh, here's what they said, quote, and it's Wales. So could those of you kindly donate, please be mindful that uh, we are a children's charity. And as such, we have a range of ages on our wonderful volunteer team. Uh, we therefore ask that you refrain from donating your used and unused marital aids. We would like to remind you that the branch has closed circuit television cameras so that these items can be traced mm. back to the mm. owners. Thank you. Oh, it goes on. We're always hugely appreciative of donations from the community, but it's fair to say that these items aren't quite the sorts of toys we're looking for. Uh, the representative said the store is particularly in need of donations of clothing and children's toys. <laughs> That's what they need, not dildos, children's Miss, Mr. toys. Mr. And, Mr. Dreyfus. Yes. Um, Hello, Oscar. It's great to see you what again. What was your experience like, and were there any toys on the set of Piranha 3D? <laughs> was I in Piranha yes, 3D? Yes, you were, sir. I thought you'd reference what about Bob <laughs> when I worked with the very difficult Bill Murray. You see, he wings it. He wings it far more often than he should. <laughs> I, on the other hand, respect the writers, and I pay attention to the script. We have to take a break, because that's what we do, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, sir. Where's that little Kittner boy? Uh... We'll take a break, and uh, we will come back and, uh, you know, talk about uh, some Hollywood stuff again. Very, very bummed out about that. Oh, before that, Oscar's going to uh, bring in uh, yes. Show and Tell. Eddie. We're going to do that when we come back. Let's talk about Chime. Credit scores might not seem like a big deal, but uh, low or no credit can jam your financial dreams up. That's where Chime sweeps in with its secured Credit Builder Visa credit card. Millions trust it to power up their credit scores. Chime safely boosts your score with everyday purchases and prompt payments. No annual fees, no credit check to begin, plus no minimal, ba minimum, not minimal, no minimum, not minimum, no minimum balance or overdraft fees. Level up your credit game with Chime. Seize your financial future. Start building up your credit right now. Now, open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit and get started. Get started at Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank N.A., member FDIC, Chime checking account, and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On-time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may cause a negative impact on your credit score. Results may vary. All right, so uh, we've on and off for the last... Uh, reasonable number of years uh discussed on occasion the electric yes. car for, you know phase that is that even a phase, phase. It's, it's the future a, the future yes. of electric cars i was looking at uh, a website today that has some absolutely beautiful new uh beamers that they're excited about the i series that they're putting out there so uh when we were talking the other day uh apparently i was saying things some things about uh Electric yeah. cars in my yeah. inch deep, mile yes. wide, not Say, done well, the real we also, research. We were way. looking on Google and asking, uh, you know, web pages for an AI what options we had, and mm -hmm. uh, we've done this maybe three or four times on the show because we're DJs and we just yeah. And my sister just got an electric car. Oh, uh, care to say what brand? Yeah, she it, the the German really? brand. Uh, you know, with the star. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the oh. yeah, yeah, she got that. The SUV you know, or so, the yeah. the one that looks like a spaceship. Um, I don't know. I think it might be a sedan, but it might be she likes Good SUVs. For Good for her. And uh and I also at the time said, uh, hey, could you peel off one for yeah. uh, for the brother? Did no, you get one for two? No, um is there that. Paul can afford it? Come on. Um so moving on. Uh we uh He can. I'm a Volvo guy, Mike. You you've been a Volvo guy in the yeah. past. I'd love to be, and I know mm -hmm. you'd love to be a Porsche guy. Oh, 
I test drove one a long time ago. For how fun. do you say? Michael how do you say the it. Porsche EV? How do you say the name of the Porsche EV? Uh, the Porsche one is the Taycan. Oh my God! Or it's the Taycan because I used to say Taycan as well. You know why? It's Taycan. Because I met a wonderful family at 9 a.m. at Pavel America. Don't say I ever don't. I don't ever do anything for you. Oh, it's Taycan. Taycan. You know why? Because the gentleman why? that used to be one of you know what? I don't want to give his information out, but he used to be a big wig at Porsche, has now moved on to wow. greater pastures. Um, he, I was asking him, he st- well, basically, let me rewind a little bit. A family reached out to me and they said, and I had no idea there was a connection to Porsche. So don't don't say I just do things for people that are connected to Highline Brands, all right? <laughs> I know what America's <laughs> yeah, already saying. But it certainly, saying it is. but it certainly gives you a woody. Oh, well, that was a nice surprise. Happens. I know. Um, that. I like. I mm-hmm. love mi- 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 meeting Jim Amato and talking about Pennsylvania. It's great. Anytime, Jim. But this family reached out. Is that the counterpoint you're offering right there? The he's Jim every Amato man. talking about he's Pittsburgh. Yes. Okay. And then guy. Um, a mom reached out to me, and we've met him in New Orleans in the past, and they said, "Hey, like." Um, my husband um, and myself and my my two kids, my two boys are coming into town. Uh, she was graduating from it looked like GW um, for with her master's, and uh, my son's really into podcasting. Would you mind if we stopped by Podville Media for a tour? And as we would in the past, when we were on Glover Park, or we were at Mike's house, or we we're here in downtown DC, feel free. We'll make like you, su casa, mi casa, come on through. Now, yep. 9 a.m. on a Sunday, a little cool place. Yeah, to 9 see, a.m. Actually. on a Sunday, cool. a little so. rough, but for future broadcasters of America and Americans, I'll make it work. So they roll into mm-hmm. 9 a.m. because they had an 11 a.m. flight and a big salute to uh, the Leah, Chad, and their kids, Miles and Graham. Awesome family, fantastic. Now, most people show okay. up empty handed, and I'm used to that because you know what? Don't need anything in life. I've got you guys. We're good to go. <laughs> well, you don't expect I don't it. expect I mean, it. and you're happy to show people This gentleman right? showed up with a little gift bag and a wonderful, go- from that says Porsche, if you're not watching at home. Oh, and then wow. a beautiful, because they know I am a racing enthusiast, a beautiful oh, golf shirt. Oh, that's you. That it just, it's go- that is it's you. gorgeous. It's got What's on the back? Stuff. What's says, the writing on the Porsche. back? Porsche. Porsche. Oh, that is Porsche. so cool. That is it like is. you. That's it's your perfect. style. It's you perfect. wear that. That's perfect. I would have worn today's awesome. a little chilly, but thank you for the gift. Mm-hmm. So he says, look, nice. I don't want to pick a bone with you, but I'm going to pick a bone with you. Uh, my son and I and my wife, we all yell at the radio when you guys are talking about EVs. First, it's okay. not. It's it's called Ty Khan. It's the, it's the Porsche Ty Khan. Ty Khan. Just remember Ty and Genghis Khan. Like wearing a tie, okay. and Genghis Khan, tie Khan. That I we can yes. re- okay. So sir. you don't sound yeah. like a rude. Oh, you you would be. That's you, one. You would have been more patient Th- than me. That's if you said one. That I said, got it. it. Thank you. Noted. Tie. I would have said, excuse me, sir. I'm a person. I'm All just right, a ahead. DJ. And then I said, uh, hey, before you continue educating me about what I do wrong um, and what I said wrong, uh, what's the story with Porsche? Like, what type of uh, perks and, uh, and quirks and features do they give you? And what are your thoughts on Doug DeMiro? Um, so he uh, he didn't give me his thoughts, thoughts on Doug DeMiro, but he did say that if you work for Porsche, they give you a Porsche to drive. Well, uh, yeah, I would think that that, you mean everybody? Everybody. Like from the guys everybody that work Everybody the that works there gets the a Porsche. People? Well, in the corporate corporate office. The muckety In the corporate office. Um, okay. Yeah, you must drive a Porsche. And I said, any Porsche? Yeah. He goes, Pretty much. Like a 911? Yeah, whatever you want. Like whatever a like a you want. GT. You switch them out. Wow. Pretty That's impressive, cars. right? He also said they're all remote. Can I just... I said, ah, Rob's can I, trying to be remote. Can I say Can't this? figure that out. Can I, yes. Yes. Can I say this I'm about sorry. Porsche? Yes. Here's where... This is all you really need to know when you're talking about mm-hmm. Iconic. You can look at a Porsche from 20 years ago and look at one today and the design is so timeless that that's why yeah. they've lasted and lasted. They last and last and last because not only are they well built, but they're well designed and they're super cool. And that says something right there that a car yes. can be an old one 
Uh, my cousin uh, well, up in Maine still, still, still running. picked up an old, old one and was yeah. driving. We actually passed them yeah. coming out of Maine, and there they were. Beautiful, just beautiful just gorgeous. automobiles. Timeless. I've had one. I've owned one in the past. Timeless. I haven't, I haven't had the pleasure. Maybe one day I can step up from being a mm-hmm. Volvo guy to being a Porsche right. guy. They're the, uh, it's the, the Targa the family, with a T-top. Uh, that's yeah, very cool. That's probably one of my dream cars. Now, mo- mo- moving too. on. No, they make the new ones. They're just... I know, but I'm saying you can yeah, pick the one up. Yeah, they're still, older. I mean, they're pretty expensive. Um, I love Porsches. So he gives me that skinny, and I'm like, all right, tell me about the EVs. What have you gotten wrong? Now, just quickly, apparently after 10 years, the batteries don't die. They just, they're not at 100%. So that's why they warranty them at, 100, at, uh, at 10 years. And after 10 years, guess what? They might be at like 85% or 90%, but the batteries still work. The cars last for for a very long time, they don't just die. So the idea that they die is in they might the batteries might be a little less. Efficient. Yes, but they don't die. And I thought you'd have to get like a okay. swap shop battery swap. We were talking about that. Well, well what's a, what's a new battery yeah, and, after and, ten years and pay a yeah, ton of yeah, money for yeah. a new battery? Don't they don't All do right. that? Um, it's uh, Tycon, not Tacon, mm-hmm. and, and Tycon. also I thought it was fascinating that. Um, the the world of EVs is not just, and I should have known this, is not just the future. It is set in stone. All of these manufacturers are, will stop making these combustible engine cars within 10 yeah. years. They've all made a commitment, and it's happening. And here's the, can I tell you the number one thing Please. that I think that I, that I love, is the affordable power. Yes. That, to me, is the coolest yes. thing about an yes. EV. An inexpensive EV can have more power than an inexpensive combustion yeah, engine. Yeah, but, but... So, I haven't, I haven't closed the door on the idea of a What about of a EV tie when, I, when my wife's lease is up? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, it depends on what I could pick. They're not in the same uh, price range with some of the, like, GTs yeah. and stuff like that. You know, the, the 911. So, who knows? I would have I mean, they're, they're, I would have bought cool the, the Mutt's... Um, Dumb and Dumber mobile and thrown in an electric motor into that thing. Uh, yeah, as good as any. Also, Tycon. I hope this is public information. If it's not, my apologies. Did you know that Walmart? And this is and this is when people talk shop, and I get super excited. He said, uh, "Yeah, Walmart's getting its own uh, EV game." And I said, "What do you mean?" He goes, "They have a whole different division. They're not making cars. They're making chargers of their own to set up at a discount. To set up at the Walmart." Because they know the future is oh, all electric cars. So who has re- who has very, very real forward. estate? Walmart mm-hmm. does, and they've done it with uh, you know people parking their RVs yes. there. This is all to yeah. get people. They in the have door their Walmart, own internal fine. team that they sp- they've spun up to create their own charging network around the country. That's now is this thinking. guy in the auto game? Yes, still he's that stepped you were up like to? seven up. If you can step up from Porsche. I just want to give the company okay. a name out because I think that'd be a little too much information. But uh, right. yeah, he's now going to be servicing all EVs in America. Okay. That's yes. very, very cool. Yes. That's cool. And Is there anything else we screwed yes. up about um, EVs? You can't just go in and buy a GT um, R3, like the big supercar from Porsche. You have to be, um, you have to have a portfolio of purchases and a relationship with the dealer that I didn't know. Like, 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 a, like Rolex a Ferrari. Watch. Yes. That you have to, they have to <sighs> sanction. I they have to that. sanction you. You have to be like you have. I think the formula is, you have to have bought two oh, Mac, uh, Macans, and then you have to have purchased at least one. Uh, bo- like they have, they have a formula to allow you to buy some of their exclusive cars. Exclusive. Yes. Cars. Anybody can walk in and buy a nine eleven, mm-hmm. but if you want one of their super, like we only get two a year, that's a different deal. I right? think. You can't even buy like their Highline Cayenne without somebody calling or you having a portfolio of vehicles you've purchased from them. Well, I say F that. F that. Approve of that. But doesn't that make you want it more? Of course it does. It's I'm an American. (laughs) If I think if I think something's out of reach, of course I want it more. And now I'm suddenly turning into Richard Dreyfus again. (laughs) So, let me see if I've got this straight. You're telling me that I can't possibly buy the Porsche GT at $235,000 unless 
I am a previous Porsche owner. I say poo poo to that. You have sir. to have a relationship, Richard. Yeah. I'll tell you here. This is my relationship. Here's my right hand. Here is my little Richard. <laughs> we'll have to wait. Oh, we got to yes. take a break. Uh, so thank uh, you. That's pretty cool. Thank you for the visit and, and thank you great, for education. Great shirt uh, yes. with that. And yeah, I mean, it's a coming. The EVs yeah. are coming. And sorry about that battery thing, you know. Mr. Porsche, I'm terribly sorry I offended you. <laughs> uh, we will uh, take a break and uh, we'll come back and talk about Matthew Perry right now. Relive and preserve your cherished memories with Legacy Box. Safely digitize your family's precious moments. It's so easy. Visit LegacyBox.com slash TMOS for an exclusive 40% discount. They handle over 15 types of analog media, including VHS tapes, Super 8 millimeter film reels, and photo negatives. As the world's largest digitizer with a decade of experience, Legacy Box has helped over a million families relive special moments from weddings to Christmases to beach trips to school plays and, of course, Boxing Day. I remember celebrating it with uh, Bob Hope and his oversized gloves. Ha, 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 ha. The best. Uh, go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to save 40%. Buy today. Send it in when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. That's LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. T M O S. Well, you know can, what? Just, just, uh, just a quick yeah, anecdote. Just, just briefly. Sure. The, 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 the boys listen. The kids listen that visited. I just talked about um, Podvo Media and they're fans of, of T M O S. And they, they, they said, "Oh my God, that's that's the Michael Mara show set." And one of the kids looks up. That's cool. yes. kids. One like of the that. kids looks Very up good. and says, "Is Mike really as grumpy as he sounds?" <laughs> Should have been with me at the Giants game yesterday. <laughs> I said, I said, yeah, you know, like, but that's what makes him great. He goes, yeah, sometimes he's really grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you. All right. Yeah, he's grumpy, and he's going to continue yeah. to be grumpy. And all he, right. And electric cars and he, die after ten thousand. And he does miles. a killer Richard Dreyfus. What do you know about that kid? <laughs> Always a good day when that happens. Come right into my studio, children. Uh, anyway. Uh, so over the weekend, celebrity deaths are always uh, interesting to uh, watch the coverage of because you see the things that really affect Americans. And I think that when it comes to the concept of Matthew Perry, because of the iconic nature of that uh, program, um, he is in rarefied mm -hmm. air, even in, even in the world of uh, celebrities. Now, I came in here about a year ago after reading his book, which was just uh, laying himself bare and talking about his struggles uh, with addiction. And so over the weekend to hear that he drowned in his uh, in his hot tub is, uh, you know, you have to wonder. And also, even after the uh, the preliminary police uh, information release said they did not find any illegal substances in the house, but there were prescriptions. Well, I mean, anybody that knows anything about narcotics knows that there's a possibility that prescriptions could do it as easily as anything else. With that said, nobody knows yet. Nobody knows what the uh, real cause of death uh, was. Uh, but I will tell you, after reading the book and then shortly thereafter seeing Matthew Perry, uh, it was obvious that uh, there, there could only be two options, in my opinion, that A, he still might be battling mm -hmm. his addictions or B the toll that those addictions had taken on his body, his speech, his ability, his ability, the look yes. of the man, it, you know, there was something going on there. This book, man, you want to talk about a stunning, uh, amount of drug use and alcohol use. Uh, and I'm somebody that back in the day, I thought I could hang on a Friday night, you know. I really did. It is hundreds of opioids, amazing. right? If I'm not mistaken, amazing the yeah. opioids. Yeah, just the dependency on that. It's terrifying, and I think that uh, he will probably tell you the same thing. That at the end of the day, he would have probably told you the same thing. At the end of the day, he was extremely lucky to have survived 
that. Now, I don't know whether you've read well, anything was, else. TMZ's I, been yeah, all I was, over it. I was at the LA, um, LA Times um, Festival of Books, and I saw him live on stage, um, just feet away, talk about his book, right? With one of the, report, one of the reporters. And I, I can tell you that he looked okay, but he didn't necessarily look healthy. And he was on his book tour. Did he sound, was he kind of slurry like Not, he was with the Diane Sawyer interview? I'm sorry. We've got a little construction here. Let's just pause for a second. Do you hear that? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. It's not bad. Um, just mark that if you're on Mac. Um, okay, so as the construction goes on in the background, hopefully you can't hear it. Uh, there is, there was a level of like, okay, he looks healthier than he looked on the Friends reunion, which a lot of people were concerned about his health then, when you, if you saw that on television. Mm -hmm. He looked like he did, but not as egregious and didn't sound as... Uh, you know, unhealthy as he did on the D Diane Sawyer interview. So in the middle, okay. in the middle. All right. Cause that, that's my middle. reference yes. point that I, uh, that I had seen with that. Um, the, you know, it's funny. I think we all process it the same way. We said uh, he was coming home on a Sunday morning. Was it, was it 4 a.m. on a Sunday morning? No, apparently he had played pickleball and had returned home and interacted with an assistant and sent the assistant out now that's kind of a moment where you say, "Did he do that for a a reason? You know, was there was there a reason that he was sending that person out? I I don't know, but um, when people get grabbed by that and people are, it's so powerful and it's so damaging and to function. I always thought I could come in occasionally with a hangover and do a radio show, and that would be a big deal. Imagine this, where you're not only coming in to do your television show, you're drugging to such an extent where you have to balance your performance out with other drugs to get you to get on you the set the and fun functioning. And go back and look at a, a Friends episode. He might be able to tell, but I can go back and look at those Friends episodes and uh and and not be able to tell and he tells a story in the book oscar about look at the he had a particular look when he was on different substances and like one would be when he he said when i was on the goatee i was really messed up uh you know when i was clean shaven or when i had this haircut and he talks about that when he's on there i don't know the power even uh, the power of recall that he had over all of this was pretty amazing uh Really, really I'm amazing. curious about the amount of takes it would take to get through scenes, but I also know that they taped in front of a live studio audience. And I think he was super functional. He knew that was the time that mattered when he would come in and, uh, and do that. And 54 years old, uh, great head of hair. I'll give him that yeah. great head of hair, but he did look like, uh, you know, it's that kind of, uh, we call it down here, meth mouth that some people have where it's that kind of, yeah, that's the way I go. But you had seen him live. I saw him live. And anything else that would have been a tell? They, anything at all? I mean, obviously we were supposed you're on to stage tape at, a, it. at a book thing. Um, he was in our theater. At the last minute, we got the no-go on taping the event for the LA Times. And um, <clears throat> and it was, it was kind of off-putting because everybody else was letting us tape the on-stage um, conversations. And I remember it was like a big deal. They're like, hey, we got to take the cameras down, but not just take them down from where they were, like not just turn them off and then cap them, but take them down. Like we had to remove them from the theater into a backstage secure location because this is Matthew Perry's this is people, people yes. having you do this. And I, like there was a concern to have him uh, <clears throat> taped in any way. Well, yeah, well, which was strange to me because I, I think they had their own documentary that was filming. So maybe they, there was a rights thing or whatever was going. They had their own crew. Maybe. But we weren't going right. to like we I, we had shut everything down. You could tell the cameras were powered down, but we had to remove them, uh, which was annoying. But also I was like, fine, like this should be a compelling interview. And it, if we're getting, if this is the one interview we lose on the capture for like the the sixty that went on that weekend, fine, right? Um, mm -hmm. But it was certainly, I was like, this interview better be good because if they're making this big a deal, and it was, but it wasn't as compelling as a Diane Sawyer interview. It was just they're talking mm -hmm. about he's promoting his book. 
It's interesting during that uh, piece where he talks about that guy. I, I, you know, I feel sorry for that guy. And he's talking about the guy in the middle of uh, his prime on uh, uh, Cheers, where he was talking about going down from one one friends rather uh, going down from one fifty four to one twenty eight, uh, which imagine that weight as a you know as a tall man uh, going down on that. I mean, it's just uh, it, it sucks. And unfortunately, having been around it, uh, having been uh, exposed to somebody, my daughter who lost uh, somebody based basically on opioids, um, you know, there's really ultimately. And you go back as far as all the rock stars of the 60s and 70s, there's only so much you can do when you've got an individual who's there. Will this be, uh, you know, I'm not a police officer. I'm not going to speculate. But when you talk about drowning in the middle of the morning or in midday in your own hot tub, um, people drink too much and drown in a hot tub. People uh, do that. But the idea of drowning in a hot tub because you fell asleep, I don't know. That, that's I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you think uh, well, about that? If I'm going to go, I'd rather in a hot tub than on the toilet. That's immediately what I thought. And I know that's a little dark and callous, but I was like, eh, hot tub sounds yeah. uh, like life's going pretty good if you have one to jump into in the middle of the day. And that... Well, stay tuned. <laughs> God. That's that's pretty good. Rob would be happy that you made an all this reference, uh, you know, uh, during during the show. We'll see. Bottom the line, the other is, side is what this. a guy. The yes. odds of drowning in a hot tub, like that's so odd that that usually happens after a long night of partying. That's when I feel like that's when that exactly happens. right. Right, That's so we'll find out. We'll find going out. On. We'll find out what happens. Uh, we have to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to wrap up uh, this uh, lovely show today with a, a story of wonderful Chinese food because Oscar brought a fortune cookie in, and I have no idea what it's about. But uh, that, the one thing, one of the things about DC, I great food, food. Ooh, great God, food. I love that food. We'll take a break, and uh, we will be right back. You, ladies and gentlemen, are listening. Here it is. Got it in my hand right now. Oh, got some more sugar-free over the weekend. Love it, love it, love it. You don't have to be an athlete to need extra hydration throughout your day. From uh, Zoom meetings and workouts to long travel days and fun nights out, Liquid IV makes it easy to stay hydrated. It has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single stick. Their hydration multiplier comes in three delicious sugar-free flavors. I'm enjoying the white peach right now. You can also get it in green grape and lemon lime. It is a pri proprietary zero sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners. I love them all. You will too. Grab your liquid IV. There they are. Hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code TMOS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. Dot com. One of the things, and we always mention it, love to give them a plug. When you come to Washington, D.C., uh, you got to stop at a place called the Peking Gourmet Inn in Falls Church, Virginia. Absolutely the gold standard if you like Chinese food. Uh, did you ever and, see the uh, you didn't did go you ever see the video? I, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up because did you ever see the video of the, uh, of the palace that the Peking Gourmet owners own? I know you sent that. I should have looked at it where they, I saw the still. I didn't it, open the video, but they have a mansion like out there, like in Percival. The Graceland or something like of Peking Gourmet. Just huge. It's incredible. And it's near one of their farms where they source a lot of their stuff, which makes it a, a great place. You didn't go well, there last no, night. Did I, you? Um, I, brought, I brought this up because the real takeaway for me was. When's the last time I ever went to Peking Gourmet? And it was with Mike O'Mara and his family and, mm -hmm. and the TMOS crew. And then you should know that every Sunday, usually Dominique or one of the producers of ESPN pick up dinner for the entire crew. And it's not your run okay. of the mill, like, let's just get pizza. It's like foodie, takeout, nice restaurants. It's something that actually, you know, if Mac was here, he'd tell you that, that the Sundays he hasn't come in, 
He's been like, what kind of food did you guys get yesterday? He likes to come and get that fed. Good, huh? Oh, that's awesome. So good for him. when good one of the him. guys says, one of the lead producers says, hey, like, don't worry about food. I got this. Um, I'm, I'm getting some Chinese food. And he rolled in with takeout from Peking Gourmet. I was like, oh. Oh, you got takeout from Peking Gourmet. I was Gourmet like, oh, in. man, this oh, is wild. Oh, my goodness gracious. If, if the guys awesome. were here. Um, and I think my palate has evolved in the last four years or five years. I doubt Probably it. Probably not. But... I did feel like I was in the know, as uh, Nikki would say, because when they're like, have you ever been? I was like, well, yeah, I have been. I have been, uh, you know, I've seen all the pictures. My friends have their pictures up on the wall. Um, so I was excited to, to reference it. And I was also excited that um, that the food that they brought was you had the duck, you had the sweet yep. and sour chicken or whatever, your staples, uh, but also that. I didn't realize that for some reason I, f I thought the Peking Gourmet because I'm a rube was just sit, dine in that you couldn't take out. But of course you can. No, it's a regular Chinese yes. restaurant where you can get it. They have a big takeout business over there. They do all the time. By the way, the, are there any, you said the producer brought yes. it in? One, one of, of the, the producers, producers one of the brought producers. it in? Yes. It, are there any food? Are there are there men? Are these people of larger no, carriage that bring skinny, these? No, they're all fit. Uh, okay. ESPN fit producers, but that I, I happen to be foodies. The, right. They they don't just get like like uh, if you're they're ordering they they don't, they don't really order pizza but when they order pizza they order it from like some New Haven place that I've never heard about that's just amazing and I'm sure it costs a fortune. That's so cool. That is so cool. I yeah. love that. That's uh, fun. That's fun. So I, did you uh, did you I enjoy? Enjoyed, Mac enjoyed. Everybody enjoyed. I enjoyed so much that I had heartburn all night and barely slept. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's heavy duty stuff. It's a lot I of calories. I wanted to open the fortune here and say like, what could be in store for us? And this is not Looks a big like a deal, line. but I always say, you know, these cookies always have something to say about you or us. And I'm going to read it live. Let, let me see if I've got my uh, my timpani. I don't have my timpani. Damn. Mm. All right. I thought I had a timpani. All right. Go ahead. Uh, oh, this is what Are I Are we this, huh? ready? All right. Let's do it. Life is a series of choices today yours are good ones this is a garbage fortune no thank you <laughs> there it is that's, that's all. all that's all we've got god ladies bless and gentlemen. you that's it that god is it. bless you glad i waited for that <laughs> well who knows what tomorrow yeah. will bring i think hopefully rob i don't know might be us again who knows uh but uh thank you for everybody for joining us we appreciate where's we'll the a brand new episode fail. tomorrow Oh, man, oh, man. Fail. 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 It was a good show. I had fun. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode for Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, Mike McIntosh. This is Mike O'Mara saying so long, every fall day. Ciao, ciao. Anything else you can tell me about him? No. Like I say, he was funny looking. More than most people, even. Nasty, vicious, drunk. Goodbye. Michael Miller, Radio Entertainment.